from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us right now for some of the day's top stories. I'm Mark Zinni. And I'm Erin Connolly. We start in Ansonia, where police have arrested three teenagers in connection with the fire at the former Ansonia Copper and Brass Building. This is video from when it happened back in February. Investigators tracked down witnesses and were able to identify the suspects. The teens admitted their involvement during interviews with police. They're now facing arson and trespass charges. A Vermont state trooper with ties to Connecticut now in critical condition after a horrible crash. Trooper Eric Vitali's cruiser hit the back of a park fire engine on Friday. It happened in Bethel, Vermont, about 35 minutes south of Mount Pelier. Vitali's at a hospital in New Hampshire with serious life-threatening injuries. According to an online fundraiser, he graduated from high school in Old Lyme, served in the Air Force, and is married with two young boys. I'm Mark Dixon here with your first alert seven day forecast. Our Wednesday across Connecticut, mostly sunny, milder inland, a little bit cooler at the shoreline uh, away from the sound, 60 to 65, and even milder weather. Our warm entrant peaks on Thursday, but certainly shy of any sort of records for the 14th of March. Then for Friday, scattered showers, relatively cooler, uh, upper 50s near 60. A shower possible early Saturday, otherwise sun and clouds, mid 50s. Mid 50s also for St. Patrick's Day, a chance for evening showers and trending cooler Monday to Tuesday of next week.